Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I unbox all things subscription box related and more, and today I have the Beachly Beauty Box for September 2021. So Beachly Beauty is a monthly box of beach inspired beauty items. And sometimes they're like for the beach, but sometimes it's just inspired of the beach as well. I have received this box for July and also for August. So this is my third time that I will be reviewing it. I, I like the idea of this box, but I have yet to see them really execute this box well. I've expressed doubts before that I don't want this box to be filled with just sunscreen constantly, but I also don't know how long term this box is gonna hold up as well. Because how many beauty products are out there that are really for the beach or from the beach or anything to do with the beach at all. So I don't really know if I'm gonna keep this subscription box after this month. This month is probably gonna determine that. If I really like the products, I might keep it again. But so far, I've yet to be blown away by it. It is a $29 a month beauty box. There is free shipping on your box as well. I have a link and a code down below in my video bio if you guys wanna sign up. That way you can save a little bit of money off of your first box as well. One thing I am gonna point out too, because you know I am reviewing this and I wanna be honest and upfront with everything. This month, actually it was in August, so I got charged for my box for August early in the month. It came middle of the month, about the 20th. On August 28th, I was charged again, and I thought, well, that's probably for my September box. Didn't really think anything of it. And then when I received my box in, I thought it was September's, but it was actually August box. So I reached out to customer service and said, hey, I received two August boxes. And they said, yeah, we know we had a technical glitch where we, their computers went through and charged everyone's account for a second time for the month of August. So obviously that was a concern to me that they did charge my card inadvertently. They ended up crediting back my account and then it did allow me to get the September box for free free quote unquote. So I ended up getting two August boxes that I paid for and then my September box was marked as free. So it worked out okay and I'm not upset with the outcome but it is a little concerning when your card is getting charged and it shouldn't be. This is the cute classic box. They've always got pineapples on the side. I do think it's really really fun and portions of their sales also go to help support beaches that need it as well. So I think that's a fun touch also. So the theme this month says that it's filled with the best beauty essentials to revitalize your summer kiss skin as we ease into fall. Four products again this month. So um, that is one thing I really wish they would do more than four products. I just personally think this box needs a fifth product in here. Now, one thing is that on the card, they don't ever list the prices of these products. I already went off camera and looked up the prices of all of these and wrote down the prices to them just to have a little bit of perspective for the value on this box. And I grabbed all of these prices directly from the manufacturer's website as well. So there's no sales or anything like that. This is actually what they cost. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. First item that I have is from Earth Harbor, which I absolutely love their products. This is the Laguna Refreshing Body Serum. Full size product here as well. This product retails for $26 and this body serum has nutrient dense botanical oils. Enjoy deep nourishment, hydration, and glowy skin from within. All right, so we'll go ahead and open it up. I like Earth Harbor's products because they are all natural, vegan, and cruelty free as well. So this is the Laguna version that they have here. This is two ounces or 60 ml of product. Next thing that I have then is going to be from Air NYC. This is a hydrating face mist toner, E-I-R. I'm not really sure if this is an acronym, if it's supposed to spell something or what it's doing. It is kind of cool. It's in this stainless steel tube here as well or spray bottle. So this product is $35. And it is a five ingredient face mist. It has aloe, rose, and witch hazel in it. This hydrating toner is a refreshing super nourisher for your skin. Just a few spritzes and your skin will feel awakened and balanced. Next item 
is from Finn and Co. And they actually said that it could vary. You could receive this one, which is the black sand, or they had a white sand one as well, but they are both a body cream. So this body cream, they're just gonna have different scents. Mine features warm sandalwood, musk, and vanilla. And the white sand one featured mandarin, honeysuckle, and sea salt. So I think I would have liked the white one better than this one, just for personal taste, but it's fine. So this body butter is 6.7 ounces of product. So I do really like that it is a large jar of product. There's aloe, whipped shea leaf in here, and vitamin A, C, and E as well. So this is a product they want us to use because it's after summer, we wanna nourish our skin. So I think it makes sense, the reason why we're receiving it this time of year. Oh, it actually smells really good. So this is our whipped body butter here. I am kind of surprised that I like this because I'm not really a sandalwood type of person that I don't usually care for that scent, but this is really good. I kind of like it, okay. So awesome, so we've got our body butter. That retails for $42, and that one is the most expensive item inside of the box then today as well. So next item is from Hanalei, and this is the Papaya Enzyme Face Cleanser. So this product, again, full-size item. This is $35 for the retail value, and it says that it has natural papaya enzymes inside of it. This cleanser will brighten and exfoliate your skin, and it will give you a radiant anti-aging glow. I have not tried a lot from their line before. I've only tried a few things, and I think they were all lip products that I've had in the past. So I am excited to give this one a shot since it's a cleanser and it's something different. So I'll be curious to see how that one works. So overall, definitely in terms of retail value, you are getting what you're paying for and then some. So I do appreciate that, that the items in the box are relatively expensive, I feel like. I like this box so much better than last month, so much better, because it does have brands in here that I recognize, but there's also a lot of product with these, and I think they're much better products than what I had the month before. So I think this one was actually really good. I actually like this beauty box. So now I'm torn because I'm like, do I keep the box? Do I get rid of the box? I don't really know what to do now. I wasn't expecting them to do well on this, and they did. I think it's a good box. So comment down below, you guys. Let me know if you would like to continue to see this box on the channel or not. I would greatly value your input on this one because I do feel torn. Like, I don't want to waste $30 every month, but then this one was okay. So I don't know. So let me know what you guys think of my box this month, and we will chit-chat all about it. And until next time, have a great rest of the day, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!